do you guys in the states have booster juice or is this just a canadian thing i know you guys have like jumbo juice and stuff or jumbo whatever that's called but do you have booster juice anyways welcome back to the channel if you're new my name is ashley and today i want to talk about how you need to stop being wasted potential something you should know about my channel is as i come back I'm relearning how to think like a content creator, I guess you could say, how to think like a YouTuber. So for now, like a lot of my videos are based off of my own personal struggles. And I feel like I have personally been struggling with feeling like I am not reaching my full potential and knowing that I deserve and I'm capable of so much more. I know I'm not the only one that feels this way because I think there's a lot of us that see what other people are doing and allow it to get in our head and we don't really know why we feel triggered by certain things and certain people and a lot of the times it really just comes back down to seeing a part of yourself in them so if you're someone that struggles with comparing yourself to others feeling jealous of other people seeing people do the things that you want to do and being upset with yourself for not doing them not trusting yourself or just simply feeling like you're wasting your time energy and talent on the wrong parts of your life then this might be the video for you so if it sounds like it is then keep on watching all right so being wasted potential what does that mean to me that means that you are aware of the fact that you can reach so many greater heights and that you are capable of beautiful and amazing things that will bring a lot of abundance into your life and make you really happy but the wasted potential comes in when you do not actively do anything to reach that point in your life and you allow yourself to get comfortable. Getting comfortable could look like you staying at a job you don't like, even though you're super creative, but you're here being an accountant, an actual accountant, not like an accountant, not a sparkly one. So maybe you're an accountant, maybe you work in corporate, maybe you work in a bank, but you're like the most amazing painter ever and you haven't painted in five months and you're just avoiding it and then you go online and you see other people painting and you're like, wow, this person just opened up their first gallery. Wow, this person has a residency at this place. Or wow, this person has their art showcased in this gallery. You know what I mean? And, and you're watching this happen and you're like, that could be me. I'm better than that bitch. Not to be rude, but like sometimes you see people that are like mediocre at things that you're amazing at. And you're like, if that person can do all of this, imagine what I could do. And I'm here type 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 in balance in numbers not that there's anything wrong with balancing numbers i'm not saying don't do that i'm saying do that in addition to that do what fuels you and do what you're good at do what makes you happy you know i know so many people with five percent of the following that i have on the internet making a more money than me b better engagement than me and c pushing out content like fucking crazy and I watch them and I'm like, wow, they're they're killing it. They're killing it. I could do that. I could do that. I could do that. And what do I do? I don't do that. I just watch them do it. And I watch them get more and more successful. And I, I, I watch them quit their jobs and go full time. I watch them get flown out for Coachella and to make content. I, I, wa I watch them do everything that I want to do while sitting there thinking I can do this. And then I don't do it. And I know that some of you watching are guilty of the same thing that's why you're here and it ends today bitch it ends today what do you think i'm doing right now i'm filming a video i haven't been filming for so long i have 22,000 subscribers on one channel 172,000 on another channel i have 6,000 on my tiktok i have 9,000 on my oh, dip down to 8,000 on my instagram and i do nothing with my platforms what am i i'm wasted potential i'm i'm just here wasting wasting away <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. How do we stop? What I've learned is there is a weird beauty in discomfort. I got comfortable and that's where I went wrong. I was getting all the followers and the subscribers and selling merch and making money and I got comfortable and I got lazy with that. And when you get too comfortable, then it's very easy to just wither away. And I feel like you, if you're working a dead end job that you don't enjoy and you feel like you wanna do something more, I think the problem is, is that you're probably way too comfortable. 
you've, you've gotten used to your routine, you wake up at 7.40, you clock in by 8, I don't know what your routine is, you do your job, you finish, you make some food, you watch a show, you go to bed, and you do it all over again the next day, and you don't really know where to begin. First of all, I think a mental reset is always really helpful. Um, writing things down, writing down things that you see yourself doing in another life, but reminding yourself that it doesn't have to be another life. It can be in this lifetime. I think like, it, it's, it's so possible. I remember when I was literally working a job I hated and I wanted to get out, so I just started pumping out content and I quit my job within like eight months and I was so happy and I got a book deal and I like did great things and now I kind of look back and I'm like, I did it once, I could do it again. I literally, my friend and I were having a conversation about this the other day, like I literally have the blueprint and I'm still not doing it, so don't feel bad if, if you're not ready yet because we've all been there, like I've done it before and I still don't feel ready for it. But I think the problem is we have to stop allowing ourselves to feel comfortable and, and getting stuck in this comfort zone, right? I remember, I think I've mentioned this in a video before, there's this hindsight video where he was talking about stop waiting to feel motivated to do something about this. You know, like, I, <laughs> if we wait until we feel motivated, it's it's never gonna come. Like, if you feel like you're a sick ass painter or you're really good with a tattoo gun or you're so good at makeup, you just need to take another class, but you don't have the money, so you're gonna wait another two years until you can save up the money to take a class. You know, like, st sh shut up, like, shut up with the excuses, because if you wanted to, you would, you know? If you really wanted to, if you really, really to your core wanted to do it, you, you would find a way to make it happen. There's a part of you that doesn't want to do it. For some reason, get to the root of that. Figure out what that part of you is and where it's coming from. Ooh, I just hit a really bad patch of traffic. Figure out what that part of you is and why. For me, that part of me, I'll, I'll give you an example. Um, also, I don't mean to like always talk about myself in these videos, but I just feel like it's easier for other people to relate when they are given a specific example. So let me know if you like the way that I break things down for you online. I don't want to sit here and be like, oh, me personally, I did this. And that. But I also feel like this is the way I would talk to a friend and I consider you guys my homies in my heart. So that's how I'm going to talk to you guys. Um, but let me know how you feel about that. Anyways, me personally, um, like I said, if you wanted to, you would, right? A part of me didn't want to because I don't think I was ready to deal with the amount of work and consistency and lack of care of what other people thought. Um, I, I wasn't ready to deal with all of those new jobs and responsibilities that came with doing the things that I want to do. Like for me, it's content creation and YouTube. Like my ideal YouTube career would be one like Kelly Stamps. She gets paid to be herself. She doesn't have a niche. The niche is her. The niche is her. She might say otherwise because um, she did start her new channel and she's had her own unique YouTube journey. But as a viewer and somebody that has enjoyed consuming her content, even though I haven't watched it in a while, I do love her content. The niche is her. We watch for the personality. You think I give a fuck what's going on in Georgia? In, in, in Alabama? Wherever this girl's going? No. I like to watch it because she's entertaining. The niche is her and that's my ideal YouTube career where I can just show up as myself, whatever I'm doing, and people will give a fuck. And it pays the bills. So because of that, like it, that requires consistency, not giving a fuck, posting all the time, um, vlogging in public in places that I'm not comfortable with. And I didn't want to do all that. And I still don't know if I do but I'm gonna have to try and push past that because what hindsight said has always stuck with me. Stop waiting to feel motivated. Stop waiting to feel ready. Just get your ass up and do it. I mean, he didn't say get your ass up and do it. Get your ass up and work, like Kim Kardashian once said. <laughs> I, don't, I didn't think I'd ever quote Kim Kardashian. Um, oh my God, hold on, I need to take a sip. Mm. If you keep waiting to feel motivated, you're not gonna do it because there's always a way. If you want to be the best makeup artist in the game, just start practicing on your friends. Start scouting out models for free on TikTok. Do you know how many bitches want to get their makeup done for free? Start, start doing that. Build your portfolio. Do some online courses if you can. 
find a mentor so that you don't have to pay all the time for new courses and you can learn from one of the best. Film and upload content about your makeup artistry, you know, if that's something that you want to do to build your brand. There's always a way, you know? Stop being wasted potential. You know you're good at that thing. You know you're good at it and you know that you're seeing other people do what you want to do and you're just like, well, you know, the market's oversaturated. She's already doing it, so like, we don't need another one in Toronto. We don't need another one in LA. We There's enough room for everybody. There's enough money to go around for everybody. Like, do you know how many people are on TikTok? There are, there are billions, billions of people. I think there are more people on TikTok than there are in the world because people have multiple accounts. I think there's like 10 billion accounts on TikTok or something like that. Like, there's enough room for everybody. When you sit there comparing yourself to others, and feeling jealous of others or feeling sad that they're doing this thing before you got a chance to do it and now you won't be the first or they're you know, like you're just wasting time bro and potential and time you see something in them that resonates with you you see a part of yourself in them you see it, you know you're capable, and to, to your core you know you're capable, and that's why it bothers you, because it wouldn't bother you if it, if it didn't have anything to do with you. For example, if I see a nurse that's killing it online or in the hospital, I'm like, oh, she's an amazing nurse, you think I'm gonna care? I'm not gonna be like, oh, man, like, that nurse, like, I feel jealous of that nurse, like, oh my, God. like, I don't care, because there's nothing about her that resonates with me, because I don't wanna be a nurse. Shout out to the nurses though. Two of my closest friends are nurses and they make a lot of money. But when you see that person that does that thing that you want to do, that's when you feel it. And it kind of fucks with your day and your mood and your energy. And a lot of times like when we see that and we don't act on it, we're losing this trust within ourselves. We're, we're losing that joy within ourselves, that inner child that just wants to be happy and do that thing. Whatever that thing is, I don't know what it is. Maybe you want to be a rapper. Maybe you want to be the baddest nurse in the game. I don't know. But ask yourself, check in with yourself. The next time you see something like that on social media, check in with yourself because there's a reason that you're feeling this way. Feel the fear and do it anyways. I challenge you. If you guys are watching and you have that thing and it's in your mind right now, what is it? Tell me. So I can hold you bitches accountable. Like, let me know. I gotta stop swearing in my videos. Oh my God, I gotta relax. <laughs> I gotta stop. <laughs> um... Yeah, let me know in the comments. Like, do you want to be an actor, a mechanic, a dancer, a painter, a YouTuber, a TikToker? Like, what is your thing? Let me know. You know what mine is. And I'm going to make it happen again. And I'm going to start talking about how I'm going to make it happen again. And you guys can hold me accountable. If I haven't uploaded in like three weeks, you guys can comment and be like, bitch, where's the upload? With the gun emoji. Threaten me. Don't threaten me. Send me a DM on Instagram, Ash Flores TV. Send me a DM on Instagram and be like, sis, where is the video? You taking a break? Delete your channel already. People will stop caring, but like bully me, please bully me. You have my permission because I know better. I can do better. I've done better. And so can you and so have you. I have a friend that takes her part-time job so seriously. So seriously, it pains me. I watch her and I'm like, can you be quiet? Oh my God, she just texted me. <laughs> oh my God. Um, she takes it so seriously. And mind you, this job is not a career. It doesn't pay much, it's part-time. Like, it's nothing serious. It's just paying her bills until her dream career works out. She puts all this energy into this job, man. I'm telling you, like, you think she's trying to get employee of the fucking month, okay? But when it comes to her dream career, I don't see her taking any steps. I see her taking baby steps every few months, which is a start. Don't, I don't want to discredit what she does. Mind you, all of this I would say to her face. I see her taking baby steps, right? But I don't see her, like, hustling. I don't see her hustling on her on her life dream and it and it pains me to watch because i'm like girl like why do you care about this part time so bad like what are they gonna do give you a 30 cent raise like they're not they don't care about you it's a corporate they don't care you quit tomorrow you you die tomorrow 
God, don't do that. You think they're gonna think about it for more than two days? The only thing they're gonna be thinking about for two days is, oh man, we gotta replace this person. Who's next, who's next? Put a listing up on Kijiji. But then it's like, I don't see her taking those steps towards her career, and it's like, then I see her like talking about people in that same career and upset, and I'm like, I, I get why you're upset. I get it, I, I totally get it. Because I feel that way too about my own. But like, you have the tools to do something about it and to do, to do more about it. You have the tools to do more, so don't be that person. Don't, and if you are, stop. Okay, let's talk about some actionable steps we can take. Is actionable a word? It is, right? Steps we can take to move forward and stop, stop doing this to ourselves. Okay, number one, I think, is building trust within yourself. That is so important. What I talked about with one of my friends on the phone today is small baby steps, okay? But the baby steps can't be months apart baby steps every day so if you want to be a painter okay I keep using the same example but start with this as step one go buy some new pencils so you can do your sketches you know go buy a new canvas the next day buy a, a new paint color the next day sketch something in your book like spend 10 minutes a day what is 10 minutes a day how much time do we spend doom scrolling on TikTok? A lot of time for me personally I'm starting with 20 minutes of editing a day I don't need to finish the video in one sitting like I've always done what I typically have done is I I film the video you know I put it on my computer and I edit it all in like three hours or four hours or however long it takes me right I don't have to do that because that feels like such a commitment I get overwhelmed and then I say hmm, you know what's sounding real good right now a sandwich and some TikTok and then I leave the video on my hard drive for four months and then I go to upload the video and by the time I edit it, it's outdated and I feel like everything I'm saying is just like so, you know, it just doesn't hit anymore because it's been months, you know, it's not, not relevant. It's snowy outside and my drive with me and it's summertime, you know what I mean? Like, so then I delete the footage and I do it all over again and I don't upload for six months. It's not like I haven't been filming. I've been filming, I just haven't uploaded. So now I'm like, let me spend 20 minutes a day. Most times when I tell myself I'm gonna spend 20 minutes, I end up spending 40 minutes because I get in my zone. So start with small, actionable steps. Okay, step two. Start talking about your goals with other people that you trust. You don't need to talk about your end goal, but start talking about your daily goals, what you wanna start doing, what your steps are. Oh, I wanna start taking tattoo classes. Oh, I wanna start taking painting class, you know? like Start talking about that so that your friends know like this is what you have in mind Maybe they hold you accountable tell them to check in with you every couple months, you know tell them about your goals your plans Tell your friends to hold you accountable stop waiting to feel motivated Just just do something do anything anything bro anything even if it's bad if you're trying to start a YouTube channel post your first video I do not care if it's bad all of our first YouTube videos are bad no matter how good we think it is it's bad I thought my first YouTube video was amazing. I put so much effort. I was so proud of it. It took me hours. Now when I watch it, I'm like, ooh, jump scare. It is, it is not good. It never will be. Your first painting is gonna be absolute trash when you look at it in five years. Your first tattoo is gonna be so sloppy, it's disgusting and not in the good way. First song, it's probably gonna sound really cheaply made when you come back to it in a few years like just post the thing do the thing make the thing be the thing like just do it just do it another thing I want you to do is I want you to shift your perspective I found this TikTok, and I'm gonna put the TikTok here just watch that first and let me explain If you see people around you getting blessed, it means you're next. Mm. All, I just feel like if you live on a road, yeah, and you see the postman is delivering, you know, somebody's delivery and they're your next door neighbor, who is the next to receive their parcel? It is you. Mm. So if they're in your circle, it means they're on your road. It means that God is, on, God is delivering and you're the one next. When you see other people doing what you want to do and you let yourself get discouraged about it and upset about it, and you get in your little feels about it, just remind yourself, same neighborhood, same neighborhood. 
Just keep telling yourself that same neighborhood. Because you know what? God wouldn't put these people, or whoever you believe in, God wouldn't put these people in your path, you know, if he didn't feel like you you were in some way, shape, or form going to resonate with that or feel close to that life or he didn't think that you were potentially a part of that. That's what I believe personally. So just repeat those words to yourself, same neighborhood. When you feel jealous, same neighborhood. Make it a mantra, same neighborhood. It was a really, really useful piece of advice for me to hear. It really shifted my perspective, so shout out to that creator, honestly. My last piece of advice is be patient with yourself and know your worth. Stop letting imposter syndrome get the best of you. I have a video on imposter syndrome, go watch it. I put the tag up here somewhere. Stop letting imposter syndrome get the best of you and take over because you know what? You are amazing. You are just as amazing as the next person. You are just as capable and you will and can reach your full potential, but you have to want it. Nobody can, can want that enough for you. That's on you. So, I mean, unless you find a way to clone yourself or use some AI, and you know, but for the most part, it's only you that is capable and there's only one you, there's only one you. So go be great unlock your fullest potential and when i figure out exactly how to unlock it i will make another video i'm working on it but you guys are gonna see my journey i really wish i could see yours but that's what the comments are for um i love you guys and i'll see you in the next video